Well, hello, YouTube. Eugene here with a review on the Kishiyu Sentai You Soldier DX. You so can. Yes, friends. Let's go ahead and take the box right here. It says Kishiyu Sentai You Soldier. Right here it says DX You So Ken. Got a nice shot of You So Red right here and the You So Ken itself here. Right here, this does show we do get the So You So with the You So Ken. And right here on the top, it does uh, show we do get a You So, which I just uh, showed you. And it does say right here, it does have lights and sounds. So here's the top of the box, pretty much showing you so you so in the uh, so mode and night mode. And right here it does say Kabon and a nice shot of you so red. Here's the bottom of the box, a nice shot of the five with their you so kin. So here's the side of the box. Here's the other side of the box. And here is the back of the box, friends. Pretty much showing you everything we're going to be seeing in this review of the you so kin. So let's go ahead now, friends, and get to it. All right, friends, here it is, the Usokin, and the Usokin is the Use Soldier's weapon, which can recognize about 100 Usos. So you have two choices on getting the Usokin. You can either get it and the Uso Changer individually, or get it in the Use Soldier Psyche Uso set, which has the Uso Changer and the Usokin in that set with their own respective Usos. The Usokin has more playability than the Uso Changer. So take a look at the Yusokin now, friends. And so the Yusokin was originally going to be the changer, but they decided to pivot that and have a brace changer for the henshin with the use of a gimmick and a sword for the attack and power-ups with the use of the Sentai's gimmick as well. Now the length of the Yusokin is 14 inches long, and the Yusokin reminds me of the Super Drive Saber from Power Rangers Super Dino Charge except the mouth isn't open on this one here. So the Yusokin has a nice feel in the uh, hands here uh, when holding it by the handle here. It's got a nice, nice feel here and everything. But, um, but anyway, um, and I am not a fan of this uh, blade here, but I get it. It's this short for the safety precautions for the kids since this is a child's toy. So even though I am not a fan of this blade here on the Yusokin, I do love the design right here um, where the dino head here is for the hilt as well as the handle here because it looks really good here in the design wise. I do like that and everything. But uh, anyway, the dino head being the chunky part of the toy, pretty much where your electronics are at. And so, anyway, but I do love this nice gold paint, which has a nice speckle to it on the top of the dino head here. It looks really good here and everything. Nice and detailed here on the, on the, by the nose area. Very nice and detailed here. And so, anyway, uh, got the, uh, the silver uh, for the uh, teeth here. And then right here, uh, where the uh, mouth is, it's got some gray plastic right here. And uh, right here, it's got the speaker for the sounds underneath this lever here. And speaking of the uh, lever, this lever here is pretty much how the use soaking works. Um, but anyway, uh, pretty much with the whole deal with the uh, the lever here, you cannot really open up the jaw, the dino uh, mouth like this. But you do have this button, this red button right here that pretty much uh, lets you open up the mouth. So, in other words, I really wouldn't do it this way to put force on it because it might break it. So, in other words, it's at your own risk. Risk, excuse me. But anyway, uh, when you push the button here, you can open up the dino mouth here and everything. And as you can see, the eye changes. And so I'm going to give you a close up here. But the eye changes when you uh, close it in like this. And when you open it, it changes. Now, it does not do that on the other side of the Yusokin, whenever I do that, but it just does it on one side. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to now and open up the uh, dino mouth, and just to show you the inside of it, and this time I'm going to be a little smart here and use my trusty flashlight here, just to show you, as you can see in the inside, there is your railings inside. I'll get a little closer there, but there's your railings there, and you can see the little icon uh, little use so icon to indicate where the use so goes at. So anyway, really nice though. And so uh, right here you can see on the handle of the use so can all in black here and got some nice gold detailings right here. 
And then uh, the blade here, of course, uh, it's got pretty much the, uh, the, the gray plastic as well as some nice red detailings right here going along, along the line of the blade here. It, like I said, it's that soft rubbery plastic. And then right here is pretty much where your lights will be coming from. Uh, pretty much got three LEDs and you'll see that whenever I do the sounds. And then uh, right here, here is the trigger to pr pretty much activate your sounds uh, for the you soak in. And so here's the back. You can see pretty much got these screw holes here on the other side here. And then uh, right here is a button on the other side of the dyno mouth to pretty much eject the USOs. And here is your on and off switch. And then uh, right here is your battery compartment, which takes uh, two AAA batteries. And you can see on both sides of the handle of the USOKIN, it's got some nice gold detailings on this side and on this side here. Um, but uh, and anyway, and here's the back as well. And so you can, uh, so in other words, friends, what I'm trying to say is it's going to be a lot of chumping action here in this review. And it's going to be a lot of fun with this. One other thing I want to show you, friends, is pretty much where the Dyna eye here, as you can see, it's got some nice black lining around the eye here. And it's on the other side too here. But uh, anyway, I, again, I will say this, that the uh, Usokin is very neat in detailing here. I mean, look at the nice detailings on here on the black area here, as well as right here where the uh, on and off switch is. Really nice. So uh, all he has to say is, hello everyone. And so anyway, well, now let's go ahead and check out the Uso that comes with the Usokin. So here's the USO that comes with the USO can, and it is the So USO, which is power, and it's USO Red's power up. And so the So mode has the design of a carnivorous quadruped, and you can see you got some nice gold here on the top here, and you can see you got some nice white right here. That white is a pristine clear white. The teeth are in the gold right here, and you can see right here uh, the leg part of the knight is pretty much like you know pretty much a mouth for the uh, soul mode here and you can see the black right there but I'll get a little more with the black when I'll show you the night mode and so uh, anyway so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check out the night mode so we flick it and so here is the night mode and the one thing I like about this they are slightly different from the uh, Henshin Usos as you can see they're the generic gray knights as the sword is different right here and you can see uh, there is no uh, uh, silver uh, paint here on the face or anything. So it's pretty much going all with the generic gray here. And you can see the shield here. You know, there is the uh, emblem for the Carnivorous Quadruped. You can see there are the uh, legs in the uh, black there. And it's got that arrow right there to indicate where it goes in for the Uso Kin or the Uso Changer. But uh, anyway, and so here is the back here. You can see uh, the... Mecha face is now different here. It's that generic knight face, I guess you can call it. And so right here, here is the uh, rail system here. And uh, right here, it does have B023. And so, again, really, really cool here. Uh, just pretty much flicking in everything. And so I'm going to go ahead now and just get out the uh, red USO just to show you the difference between the two. As you can see, the red USO is in its, you know, standard color and everything being the red USO. You can see the uh, swords are different here. You know, the uh, red USO has silver detailings on the helmet and pretty much on the chest. As to this one doesn't have anything, it's just a, you know, usual night gold here, I'm going to call it. A night uh, gray here, excuse me. And you can see the shields are different. And then uh, here is the back. You know, I got Kishiyuo's face right here as the usual night face. So, uh, anyway, no big difference between the two here, so. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the sounds of the uh, Soyuso -so in the Uso Changer. But before I do that, let me go ahead and correct my mistake here. Give you a better look with my trusty flashlight on the rail system. And then there's that little Uso icon to indicate where the Uso goes at. And so there's uh, the, uh, the rails as well as the icon. So, uh. Anyway, well now I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and hear what uh, the Soyu uh, Soul does in the Uso Changer. So here we go. Alright, let's do it. Ah, you Soul. So let's see what else it says by hitting this button here. Cool. 
Now let's go and do the sounds of the used soul kin without the used souls in it. And so uh, we'll go ahead and turn the uh, the used soul kin on. So here we go. So it says you so can, and you can see the three LED lights here, so which is really cool here. And so I'm gonna do some uh, some uh, slashing, well, some clanging sounds here, and there are two of them. So here's A, and then B, and so same repeated pattern. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Dino Mouth here by uh, pulling this button down and the lever. And it'll make that noise. So I'm going to be repeatedly opening and closing the mouth probably the next nine times here to do this really, really funny, and I'm going to call it a Easter egg here. So enjoy. Look at that eye change. Excuse you, man. So, yes, friends, he did a burp. And I think that's a very funny Easter egg right there. Now the sounds with a Yuso in the Yusokin. And we'll go ahead and do it with the Soyuso since it comes with the Yusokin. So let's go ahead and open up the Dino Mouth. And we'll go ahead and insert it in like this. And then close the Dino Mouth. The name of the soul. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the trigger. Like the attack sound. And so I'm gonna go ahead now and hold the trigger. Now time for some action here. And so we're gonna go ahead now and pull this lever twice. So here's one, and then here's two. Listen to that standing by sound. And so this is for the summon of the power up. So let's go ahead and pump it up like this. That's really co cool. Whenever uh, you do the pumping, it'll do so, so, so. You can see the lights follow along the pattern. So when it goes so, 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 and something like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and pump it again to do the final attack. So here we go. So here we go. Nice standing by here. And so hit the trigger. Man, that is so cool. A whole lot of explosions and so on. I really like that. And that's pretty much how it works with the armament USOs. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, the changing USOs, like the red USO and the Hajimari no USO. And so after you do all the uh, power-up uh, functions and the final attack functions, you go pretty much back to this regular clanging sound. So now I'm going to go ahead and eject the soul. Now this is really cool here. The uh, you so can literally vomits the you so out. I think that's really cool. So anyway, we're going to go ahead now and do the henshin uh, you souls here. So here is the red you so. So let's go ahead and do it. Cool. It says red. And so uh, let's see what happens when we hit the trigger. Uh, usual clanging sound. So here's what happens when we hold the trigger. And so now we're going to go ahead and do uh, Yuso Red's final attack. So pretty much all we got to do is the same thing like we did earlier. Uh, pull the trigger, uh, pull, pull the lever twice, excuse me. All right. So let's go ahead and do it. Love that standing by sound. So hit the trigger. So really cool. Like I said, that is Yuso Red's final attack. And I like how it recognizes uh, the name of 
uh, you saw red, probably give them a little catchphrase whenever you hold the trigger. And then when you after you put the uh, you so in, it recognizes as red. I love that. Now let's eject the you so. And so here we go with the Hajimari no you so in the you so can. So here we go. And then we'll close it in. Oh man, I love that. The name of this Sentai. Love it. And so uh, let's do some clang sounds real quick. So nothing has really changed, but here's something uh, when we hold the trigger. And I will go ahead and do the final attack here. So pretty much it's the same thing as this one here because it is a henshin soul here. So let's go ahead and do the trigger. I mean, I pull the lever. And so let's do it. And hit the trigger. So pretty much the same kind of final attack sounds you would hear off of the So You So and the Red You So. So friends, that's pretty much it. Well friends, my final thoughts on the You So Ken. Well, I pretty much gave you all my input, all genders if you have feel about it and everything. But I feel the You So Ken is very enjoyable. It is so much fun. It's a nice role play toy, nice color scheme, and a lot of playability and it has more playability than the Uso Changer, but I will not knock the Uso Changer because I still like the Uso Changer. And uh, it's a lot of fun with the Usos. And of course, my most favorite part of the Uso Ken when it vomits the Uso out and the little Easter egg it has when it burps with no Usos in it when you're constantly opening the Dino Mouth. I really like that. But I feel the Uso Ken fits so well with the theme of you Soldiers. Of course, the night part pretty much, you know, well, uh, the knights have swords and, you know, the dinosaur, pretty much the dino head on the Yusokin. So, really fits well with the theme of you soldiers and everything. And I do like the little uh, Yuso that comes with it, the So Yuso. It's a lot of fun, especially when it comes to doing all the sounds and the lights are very nice on and everything. And, you know, the, the attacks it does, you know, uh, pretty much doing the power-ups first, and then the attack, and then, you know, when it comes to the henshin usos, it just does the final attacks. And, you know, pretty much giving us some nice ca little catchphrases and everything. So, anyway, friends, I 100% recommend this. Again, you do have a choice to get the Usokin individually or alongside in the set with the Uso Changer. It's totally up to you. So... All I can say is now, friends, good luck and happy hunting. And so, anyway, well, that is it for this review. Please check out my blog, follow me on Twitter, and to like my Facebook. And make sure, friends, you hit that bell icon if I want to upload a new video. And, of course, my friends, this review on the Kitchen You Sentai You Soldier DX You So Kin. I hope you enjoy. Well, friends, I'm Eugene. I'm signing out. And over a good day. And, my friends, I'm most assuredly see you next time. Bye.